What is up guys, Far here here and I'm going to walk you through the level design of this old factory level in Unreal Engine. So let's get started. First, I opened my Epic Games launcher and went under the Unreal Engine marketplace and I downloaded four assets that I needed for this project. The first one was Abandoned Factory Buildings. This asset comes with three buildings and some of the props and landscape material that I later use for my landscape. It also contains smoke particles and some plants that can be useful for this kind of project as well. The other assets that I used in this level design were Construction Site Volume 1 and 2 and also I got Industry Props Package 6. In those packages I got some variety of meshes that I could implement in my level design because factories, construction and industry are usually connected. All of these assets you will be able to get for free in the marketplace and add to your own project. After I got those assets, I went to Unreal Engine and created a new project and selected a third person template from Unreal Engine browser and created a project with the blueprint for desktop with maximum quality and without started content because it's low quality and I don't need anything from that content for this project, although it can be useful sometimes. And I also renamed my project to Factory. Then I added all assets that I got from the marketplace in my game project. The first thing that I did in Unreal Engine is I got rid of the basic geometry from the third person template and I went to the landscape at the top and created landscape 15 by 15 because I didn't want to create a large level. Before starting anything, I downloaded PureRef software, which is free and you can get it from their website. I also went to Google where I searched for old factory pictures so I could use them as a reference. In PureRef, you can arrange the pictures how you like it and it's a very handy software. I started with creating a level design. First, I went to the content browser and searched for some buildings. I found a couple of buildings and started importing them into the scene. I used those buildings to block out the level so I could see roughly how my level is going to look like. I mixed some of the buildings because they are blending very well and they look amazing. After I got a couple of buildings, I immediately imported the landscape material so I could see how my ground is going to look like. I used the landscape material which you will be able to find in those assets and this material is coming with a couple of layers that you can use for your ground. I selected the third person template because it gives me a character that I can use as a reference for scaling and for testing out my level. Later on, I selected the first layer and use it as a fill layer and then I play with other layers just to have some variety on the ground. Then when I had my landscape material and buildings, I started importing different props into the scene. While I was importing the props that I had inside of those assets, I was thinking about the story of my level design and all the props that I'm bringing into the scene. That's one of the most important things for level design, a good story. Also, don't forget to check the reference pictures from time to time because you can find some inspiration there. While you are creating a level, you should ask yourself some of these questions like, why is this here? Who used it? How can this be helpful? How can it affect the gameplay? What kind of mood you want to have with this? And so on. These questions can help you with creating a good level design with a story behind it. Later, I used Foliage tool for adding small details like plants, broken bricks and wet papers. It was easier to apply those small details with the Foliage tool than adding them one by one from the content browser. Next, I used the Sculpt tool for sculpting the landscape. Also, while I was working with these tools, I was thinking about the story behind it. Like how many bricks to add, where to put the papers and plants, and where the ground is going to be higher and lower and why. For example, I used the Sculpt tool under the buildings because I wanted to bring the ground higher just to have some nice details and better blending between those two. 
I also applied some particles to create smoke, which helped me to bring some movement and life inside of my level design. And at the end, I played with some lights and render settings to create this cold morning mood that you can see in my level. For my short movie, I used Unreal Engine Sequencer and I played with the camera so I could have different angles and shots. All in all, it took me about 4 hours to create this level. And if you want to learn level design with Unreal Engine, you can do that in my Ultimate Game Development Academy. Link will be in the description below. And now, enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you.